Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and I wanted to tell you about the wah pedal that I use um, whenever I'm doing a recording or certainly on stage. Um, it's made by Morley, and it's called the Bad Horsey, which is the Steve Vai model um, uh, wah pedal. Now, I don't just use it because I like Steve Vai, and I know it seems that way because I have a Steve Vai guitar as well. What I really like about the Morley are really two things. Number one, it's got a real nice wide range of frequency when you depress it all the way down. Um, and I like those really high-end elements, and I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. But the other thing I really, really love about it is the fact that it shuts off when I let my foot off of it. Um, when I'm on stage and I'm running around doing whatever and I go to use my pedal, what I always found... Now, again, there's there's a lot of solutions to this. This isn't the only pedal that that helps with this. But with the old school Crybabies, I could, sometimes I could never tell whether the, the pedal was actually on or off um, unless I rocked it and went, oh, it's still on. I got I to gotta click it, you know, with the front of my foot to, to turn it off. You know, and sometimes when you're on stage and, you know, it's really loud and everything is going on, it sometimes is hard to tell. Now, I know some pedals have a, a light that will tell you whether it's on or off, which certainly helps as well. And uh, and again, that's what I really like about this is it, it's pretty no brains. I just go up there, do my thing. When I press on it, it engages. And when I take my foot off, it disengages and I'm good to go. So that's what I really, really like about it. So what I'll show you here, uh, you'll be able to see the light. When I press down, the light turns on. When I let go, the light turns off. And that's it. That's as, that's as easy as it is. Now, I do have a Bad Horsey 2, which is the second version of this that has the contour button and all that sort of thing. But to be honest, I still like the sound of the original Bad Horsey, and that's the one that I use all the time. So that's what I thought I would show you. So that is my beat-up uh, bad horsey pedal. Now I want to show you a couple things about the wah itself since we're talking about it anyway and kind of show you some ways that you can use a wah that um, is pretty darn effective. So the first way I'm going to show you is just the timing way, the metronome way if you will, where what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a rhythm by stomping on it in a rhythmic sense. Okay, so let's say I started doing this. <laughs> Just something with this kind of groove. Right? Start thinking about um, uh, Jimi Hendrix, um, Voodoo Chow, right? This is a perfect example of that. You know, that sort of thing where I'll put it on the, the first position pickup here so you can hear it a little bit that way. You see? So you're using it in rhythm. So you're you're pumping the pedal to create a groove. Okay? And that's a really effective way of doing it as well. Um, when I use a wah on stage, I don't... I mean, I used to use it a lot, and I'll show you how I used to use it. I don't use it quite as much anymore, um, but I still certainly use it. But I, n I was never one of those people that really used the wah going... <laughs> because you really could play anything, and, and if you're just pumping the wah all over the place, it's hard to tell what's actually going on. So the second step of this is I want to show you how to use the wah to get more vocal elements, which is how I like to use it. So let's say, for instance, you're gonna go for a bend, right? So you're going. And you're gonna bend that, that second string. Bring that up. So what I do is, as I'm coming up. So as I bend up, I'm depressing the pedal. Okay, now if I leave the pedal down, it's going, now certainly I'm not very loud right now uh, in the studio, but if I was on stage and I depressed that pedal and left it down, it's going to create more feedback, which is really nice because I can have that sustain longer as I'm holding that pedal down. So what I'm going to do a little bit is I'm just going to show you how I use it a little bit to create some vowel sounds. Okay, 
So there are times, and again, I can't really define to you exactly how I'm using it. Um, it's kind of a feel thing, but what I'm not doing is depressing it every time I play notes. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just think, think of it this way, like I'll depress the pedal slowly and kind of glaze over strings or over notes. See, so what I'm doing is I'm slowly depressing it or releasing it as I'm playing a, a series of, of different pitches. Okay, so it's just giving an overall frequency element. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll play it over certain notes. So you see, as I'm, as I'm getting to the end of a phrase, I'm gonna depress that pedal to give it more of a, of a throat element. Okay, to give it more of that sort of thing. Now again, I'm com gonna combine those. When I play, I'm gonna combine those two. I'm gonna use the pedal as I'm glazing over notes, and then I'm gonna use some vowel sound. So it's not always happening. And there are many times when I'm playing that I won't use the pedal at all. So I might just be soloing. <laughs> And I might just throw it in on a little phrase right there and then go back to whatever it was I was doing. So that's really another way that you can use the pedal is, is using it to create some vowel sounds, okay? Bending is always a great place to use it. Whenever you do a bend and you depress the pedal. Okay, but certainly bending isn't the only place you can use it. I mean, you can use the pedal... Um, you know, like I showed you, where you're just using it kind of over a, a series of notes. Or if you want, you know, more staccato ideas, I, I don't know if that's the best word, but... So right there, what I'm doing is I've got this wah, 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 right? So I'm I'm kind of prolonging the, uh, the pedal movement on the last two, where those two are small. Right? So again, I'm creating a vocal element with the pedal as I do that. The third way I like to use the pedal, which is really, really neat, which kind of gives you sort of a Zach Wildish thing, is what you do is you depress the pedal, and a lot of players will do this. With the Crybaby, it's really nice, or, or pedals like that, because you can depress the pedal and then leave it at, at a frequency, and then take your foot off of it and do your solo, and it'll stay at that frequency. With the bad horsey, you can't take your foot off of it. So what you, what I do is I press the pedal. You know, I mean, again, there's no exact science to this. I just press the pedal down. And what you'll notice is I'm not I'm not moving the pedal. I'm just holding it where it is. So I can go through any of these three stages that I'm talking about. Really, four if you want to separate the kind of glazed over idea from the vocal element. Those are really kind of two different things, but um, I can use these interchangeably as I'm playing. So if I'm playing something and then I depress it and start moving in, kind of rock back and forth to get that kind of glazed over idea. But now I'm going to leave it. See, so I can kind of move back and forth between those. So, you know, when I first started learning how to use a wah pedal, you know, the only thing I understood about it was to rock it back and forth in time, like uh, like Voodoo Child or something like that. But it wasn't until much later that I started realizing that it it actually works wonderful for me to use it in the vocal sense. And then again, I certainly like to use it where I will will hold it in a spot. and get that real kind of pinchy high-end sound. Um, it's not for everybody, but there's just different ways that you could use the, the wah pedal. So I thought I'd introduce you to my wah pedal and, and explain to you a little bit about how you could use uh, your wah pedal in different ways if you haven't really thought about it. So take care, uh, stay positive, and I'll talk to you soon.